Hello everyone, welcome to BioPassionate. Let's explore the animal kingdom and discover amazing examples of creatures that make our planet so vibrant and diverse. Phylum, Porifera. These are commonly called sponges, and these are poor bearing organisms. Sponges are generally marine. Sponges are primitive multicellular animals and have cellular level of organization. Examples, Sycon Shypha, Euspongia, Bath Sponge, Spongilla, Freshwater Sponge. Phylum Salinterata are also known as Nidarians, so they are aquatic, mostly marine. The body is radially symmetrical and possess stinging nitoblast. Some common examples are Fusalia, Portuguese man of war, Adamsia, sea anemone, Penatula, sea pen, Gorgonia, sea fan, Meandrina, brain coral. Phylum, Tinophora, commonly known as sea walnuts or comb jellies. These are exclusively marine. Body is radially symmetrical, diploblastic with tissue level of organization. Bioluminescence is well marked. Some common examples are Tinoplana, Pleurobrachia, Phylum, Platyhelminthes, commonly known as flatworms. These are mostly endoparasites, live inside the body of a host. Flatworms are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, and acylomate animals with organ level of organization. Some common examples are Fasciola, liver fluke, Tania, tapeworm. Phylum, Ashelmindus, commonly known as roundworms. They may be free-living, aquatic and terrestrial, or parasitic in plants and animals. Roundworms have organ system level of body organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, and pseudo coelomate animals. Some common examples are Ascaris, roundworm, Wuchereria, filaria worm, Ankylostoma, hookworm, Phylum, Annelida, commonly known as segmented worms. They may be aquatic or terrestrial, free-living, and sometimes parasitic. They exhibit organ system level of body organization and bilateral symmetry. They are triploblastic, metamerically segmented, and coelomate animals. Some common examples are Phoretoma, earthworm, Hirudinaria, blood-sucking leech, and Nerace. Phylum, Arthropoda, commonly known as insects and bugs. They have jointed appendages, cosmopolitan in nature. They have organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, segmented and coelomate animals. Some common examples are Apis, honeybee, Bombyx, silkworm, Lacifer, lac insect, Anopheles, Culex and Aedes mosquitoes, Locusta, locust, Limulus, King Crab, Phylum, Mollusca. These are soft-bodied organisms. Mollusks are terrestrial and aquatic. Organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, and coelomate. Some common examples are octopus, devilfish, pila, apple snail, pinctada, pearl oyster, sepia, cuttlefish, loligo, squid, aplysia, sea hare, Chaetopleura, chitin, and dentalium, tusk shell. Phylum echinodermata, commonly known as spiny bodied organisms, all are marine. Body shows organ system level of organization. The adult echinoderms are radially symmetrical, but larvae are bilaterally symmetrical. Some common examples are Asterias, starfish, Echinus, sea urchin, Antidon, sea lily, Cucumeria, sea cucumber, and Ophira, brittle star. Phylum, Hemichordata, commonly known as acorn worms. These are worm-like marine animals. Body shows organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, and coelomate animals. Some common examples are Balanoglossus and Sacoglossus. Subphylum, Eurocordata, all are exclusively marine. Body shows organ system level of organization. Notochord is present only in larval tail. 
Some common examples are Acidia, Salpa, Doliolum, Subphylum, Cephalocordata. All are exclusively marine. Body shows organ system level of organization. Notochord extends from head to tail region and is persistent throughout their life. Example, branchiostoma. Now let's look into the examples and features of vertebrates. Class, Cyclostomata. They are ectoparasites on some fishes. They have an elongated body bearing six to 15 pairs of gill slits for respiration. Cyclostomes have a sucking and circular mouth without jaws. Examples, Petromazon, Lamprey, and Mixane, Hagfish. Class, Chondrichthyes, commonly known as cartilaginous fishes. These are aquatic, freshwater, and marine. They have cartilaginous endoskeleton. Some common examples are Scoliodon, dogfish, Pristis, sawfish, Carcharodon, great white shark, Trigon, stingray. Class, Ostyctyes, commonly known as bony fishes. Both freshwater and marine, they have bony endoskeleton. Some common examples are Exocoetus, flying fish, Hippocampus, seahorse, Labeo, Rohu, Catla, Catla, Clarius, Magur, Betta, fighting fish, Terraphyllum, angelfish. Class Amphibia. Amphibians can live in aquatic as well as terrestrial habitats. Body is divisible into head and trunk. Tail may be present in some. The amphibian skin is moist without scales. Some common examples are Bufo, toad, rana, frog, hyla, tree frog, salamandra, salamander, ichthyophis, limbless amphibia. Class Reptilia. They are mostly terrestrial animals. Their body is covered by dry and cornified skin, epidermal scales or scutes. They do not have external ear openings. Tympanum represents ear. Limbs when present are two pairs. Some common examples are Chalone, turtle, testudo, tortoise, chameleon, tree lizard, calotes, garden lizard, crocodilus, crocodile, alligator, alligator, hemidactylus, wall lizard, naja, cobra, bangarus, kraytis, vipera, viper. Class Aves, terrestrial and aquatic. The characteristic features of Aves, birds, are the presence of feathers. Four limbs are modified into wings. Some common examples are Corvus, Crow, Columba, Pigeon, Cetacula, Parrot, Struthio, Ostrich, Pavo, Peacock, Aptenodites, Penguin, Neophron, Vulture. Class Mammalia. They are found in a variety of habitats. The most unique mammalian characteristic is the presence of milk-producing glands, mammary glands. Some common examples are Ornithorhynchus platypus, Macropus kangaroo, Pteropus flying fox, Camelus camel, Macaca monkey, Ratus rat, Canis dog, Felis cat, Elephus elephant, Equus horse, Delphinus common dolphin, Balaenoptera blue whale, Panthera tigris tiger, Panthera leo lion. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more such content. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.